All right, so the title of this video is That Time Sword of Truth was on the Drunken Peasants podcast. Now, if anybody knows anything about the Drunken Peasants, they're a bunch of atheists, and somehow they happened to stumble across one of my videos in regards to explaining what biblical love is. It was a message that I uh, prepared for the Ariana Grande concert goers after me and Brother Adam were assaulted at their concert back in June of 2019. I prepared a message in regards to what biblical love is compared to, you know, how LGBT says love is love and love wins and God is love, but their definition of love is not the biblical definition of love. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you um, somehow they stumbled across this video. It only has like 700 views. So all glory to God. And this is, as you can see, this is the Drunken Peasants channel. Uh, again, a bunch of atheists. They talk about a bunch of just whatever. I'm not even that familiar with them. Uh, but anyways, so we'll just go ahead and play uh, play this video. Yeah. Pride is what destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. But the sodomy was a part of that because it says they committed an abomination before me. What do you think that abomination was? That abomination was their sodomite acts. What do we and doing? it also says yes. that they had an abundance of idleness. Have you ever been to an LGBTQIAPSTUVWXYNZ123? Now I know my ABCs. Have you ever been to one of their pride festivals or parades yes, it's nothing but a abundance of idleness i mean what what it's are they doing there i've been there it's stupid what are they doing there celebration. eating food and talking about being gay there was dancing okay, as well okay then what passing aids around and no, then, i don't know about what? that they're not doing anything they're passing I mean, condoms we'll, around we'll be standing there preaching the word of god and they'll just come up with their gay little flags. And you'll see this at any street preaching video. Wherever there's a street preacher at a gay pride event, this is what you're going to see. Well, normally, you guys go to their event trying to start shit. Now, be prepared to laugh. Imagine this is like a gay flag. All you're going to see is this. Yeah, they're dancing with their flags. You do it so good. Yeah, this guy Thank loves you. gay flag dancing. <laughs> He's even got a gay flag in the background. It's just a got a crossover pride. My guy's got That's a rainbow. And no matter it don't matter what city it is, it don't matter what street preaching group it is, they all do that. They all do that. So what? Just idleness. It's just an abundance of idleness. I mean, this is a it, it's it's the celebration it's scary is dancing, about, Papa. But it's amazing when you see the word of it. Yeah, man, we do need to pray for them. We need to pray that they <sighs> pray repent. all you want. Waste your it's time praying simple. for people who are finding happiness. We do pray for them. them actually, life. you need to pray for them. Are you praying? For no, them? I'm not. I do pray for them. No liar. What do gay horses eat? Not lying. Hey. <laughs> I see yeah, they a start a dancing with no music. Of comedy as well. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly. That's such an old joke. <laughs> but seriously. Seriously, though. But seriously, folks. I mean, it's grievous. I mean, this is what they do. It's an abundance hey. of idleness. I mean, nothing is being accomplished by being there except passing AIDS around. That's probably the biggest accomplishment that's going on. It's community They're building and representation and uh, finding people who uh, are proud to be like you. That's what it's for. Uh, the passing aids around if that if it happens at any level Hardly uh, at all. then then whatever but it's really just about people who feel comfortable opening up about a part of their life that they don't feel welcome to do so in other areas it's that simple and if you can't understand that then go back to your stupid fucking church and bring your print up more stupid signs okay, and just being honest. on their parade I'm not trying to be mean, but I mean, this is the truth of the matter. Sometimes you just got to be raw with it. You got to tell the truth. Uh, your truth sucks, and the way you tell it sucks. Double fail, Papa. Double fail. You print up signs to go hate on other people having fulfillment in their life. Sorry. Real failure. I just wanted to show that right quick. Find it interesting somehow. 
these guys um, these guys stumbled across this video so maybe hopefully that maybe hopefully there will be some seeds that were planted I don't know I don't know a lot about these drunken peasant guys like I said all I know is that they're atheists and you know obviously their whole channel is nothing but idleness if you want to be truthful of the matter looks like they've had g-man on before huh let's see let's take a look at i mean see and some of the stuff they show is just it's just filthy just filthy stuff they show some of it but uh see just filth whores and filth um Oh, see here, they're talking about Kent Hovind. Kent Hovind arrested. Interesting. What do he got arrested for? Hmm. In the beginning, there was nothing. Drunken peasants. See, look at how they mock God right at the beginning. In the beginning, there was nothing. I mean, just mocking God. That's all these guys do. I mean, I don't really need to go much more in depth about these guys. Um, I am curious in regards to the situation about Kent Hovind getting arrested. How many of you guys are familiar with Kent Hovind? Here we go. He's like a pseudoscience peddler, like... He tries is he the to... guy who did the is he the guy who did the pandemic? Co Covind? Co Co no. Covind. <laughs> Kent Hovind nineteen. Okay. Uh yeah. <laughs> was this the guy that did the debate with Bill Nye the Science guy back in the day? Uh no, that was um that was somebody else at that time Kent Hovind was in prison. Oh so okay. Kent Hovind was Dr. Dino, but he's got all these like pseudo scientific ways of explaining the shit in the Bible. Like he's a young earth creationist. So he tries Is to Is he affiliated science. with the creationist museum in Kentucky? Is that the giant ark? Yeah, yeah. He has the or no yeah, no 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 that's Ken that's Ham. That's Ken Ham, yeah. And that's who debated okay, okay. Bill Nye. Yeah. That's who de um, right, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, so so this guy got, owns an adventure land as well, something like that. What the hell, man? He uh, what's with these guys and needing amusement parks? So he uh, look, if you could have one, you would have one already. He got convicted You're not of wrong. tax fraud. By the way, sorry about all the cussing as well, guys. That's what lost worldly atheist people do. They like to cuss a lot. Look at this. So allegedly injured his wife, Cindy Lincoln. Third wife. So, just so you guys are aware, you little atheist guys over here, according to the Word of God, Kent Hovind, Kent Hovind, Covind, 19 as you guys wanted to call him, um, he's actually in adultery. He's on his third marriage while his actual wife, his covenant wife, is still alive. According to the Word of God, he is in adultery. And this is the fruit of adultery. This is the fruit of it right here. Hovind spent nine years in federal prison on financial-related offenses, yeah. including structuring bank withdrawals and failing uh, to file tax returns. After his release, he opened Dinosaur Adventure Land in Florida and another location in Conica County in April 2018. The attraction promotes creationism and derides evolution as the dumbest religion in the world. Evolution isn't a religion. It yes, it is. It takes a lot of faith to believe in evolution. There, uh, Billy Cam. Is, is evolution a that's religion? That's why it's the dumbest that's, religion. That's, that's not a religion. It's one of the better sciences, but it is a dumb religion. <laughs> that's a uh, no. If you guys believe you started off as what rocks or primordial soup, and then evolved into like single cell amoeba, and evolved into like fish walking on the land, and evolved into like apes. And then evolved into humans. Yeah. Yeah. I feel sorry for you.
a, a line yeah. they like to use that it's it's That's based fair. on faith it's based on people oh. it is it takes a lot of faith to believe that we came from that to this like seriously and again evolution where's all the transitional fossils having faith to believe okay. how it works that's clever yeah that's oh it is clever clever not very clever not really uh do you, do you want to put, hear the audio man do you want me to start masturbating live on the stream okay that's disgusting why would you say that like see that that's my point like they literally get off on hearing things like this and he just proved it why would you say something so vile and filthy out of your mouth like that. They literally get off on seeing certain, you know, stories like this and when it pertains to pro Christians or professing Christians, because I don't believe Kent Hovind is even born again at this point. I mean, he just keeps going off into adultery, into adultery, into adultery. I mean, I would say the Lord is going to give him over to a reprobate mind. I will say this much. When it came to Kent Hovind's teachings, you know, in regards to evolution versus young earth creationism, etc., I think he did a really good job.